We are back with Chris Armbrust and Teresa Perleberg, two very ambitious women who took on the large renovation of an old schoolhouse, which now is home to a beautiful hotel, wedding venue, um, art class, classes. I mean, you do it all there, like you said before. So you also, though, but what started this was your love for fiber arts. So let's talk about this. Um, first of all, Chris, let's talk about Dakota Fiber. Mm -hmm. um, I started Dakota Fiber Mill. I opened up in my farm outside of Kindred, North Dakota in okay. 2010 and been doing it ever since then. And what I do is I take raw wool, raw, raw alpaca, raw fiber from any type of fiber animal and I go through the process and turn it into yarn or roving. This is roving. This is roving. Mm -hmm. This is so soft. And this is what it starts with. Okay. And this is washed, and this is roving, and then this is yarn. So this is right after you mm -hmm. shear your mm -hmm. alpaca. Um, this is sheep. Mm -hmm. th oh, this is sheep. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. And now mm -hmm. has this part been, um, this part's been, wa I mean, because. Nope. this is raw. This is raw. That's just oh as gosh, it came off so the animal. Soft. <laughs> Look at our, and, and okay, and oh, yeah, here's there. our yes. little cutie pie. Yep. Okay, so you have mm -hmm. these animals, you have you ranch, yep. obviously, yep. these Trace animals. Both of you do too. Bear Creek Farm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, tell us though, I mean like what your, the process of this. Yeah, the process is, this is what it starts with. We take in the raw fiber and it's a, a process to turn it into yarn or roving. Okay. We have large um, commercial industrial textile equipment yes. that does that. Yes. And yeah, and Teresa was my customer for, oh golly, 10 years. And this is what I made for Teresa right here is I would make roving for her for her kids. Roving, okay. Roving. Yep, yep, and, yep. And then mm -hmm. from there, the magic happens. Mm -hmm. No, it's all yep, magic exactly. to me. Either it so gets in, turned into that or, or, or we'll go and spin it into yarn. And then people can mm -hmm. come and purchase the yarn um, from you. So, mm -hmm. okay, so Teresa, you have Bear Creek felting. Tell us um, how, how you got started with that and, and what you actually do. Uh, so my daughter asked for a lamb for her eighth birthday, uh, <laughs> so we got her that, and the lady we bought the lamb from, she introduced us to needle felting. And she taught Libby how, and then I took it up from her and just kind of went crazy with it. I um, started demonstrating with uh, Wooly Women was the group um, that, that uh, we joined, and uh, people started wanting to buy my uh, animals that I made, so I started selling them, and then I started selling them online. So I've been selling online since 2008 on Etsy and my website. Um, then I, people were wanting to know how to do it, so I designed kits on how to do it, and that includes everything in there, including that roving <laughs> from Chris's mill uh, that, are, that is originally from my sheep. Mm -hmm. And that all goes into the kit, and then you can make uh, things like the, the gnomes here or the turkey. Uh, I have about 19 kits. Okay. And then after that, I started a, an online needle felting academy, so they can learn how to make the bigger things like the elephant, uh, the more complicated things. Yeah, because mm -hmm. those are solid items. <laughs> that is like a cute little toy, you know, in a way. But I have seen those kits, mm -hmm. and you, you're so, or both of this whole place is organized, and, and there's a system to it all. So it truly is amazing. Um, but tell us a little bit about the history of fiber arts, and I mean, and the tools that you use. So I mean, they, like you said, they're industrial, and you had to have special equipment mm -hmm. just to get them down into the lower level, right? Yeah, there, we um, we have large industrial equipment that actually. Um, came from a, a working textile mill in Rhode Island. So it's very, very large, had to be craned down into craned. the mill and rolled into place. Um, and that's what we use. It does an amazing job. It's um, old, it's, you know, 70s, 60s era. Right, right. And it's just, their workhorses are just meant to run seven days a week, 24 yeah. hours a day, so it's awesome. Wow, mm -hmm. wow. And so um, you do hold classes mm -hmm. there. How often do you do hold classes? And I'm sure classes, we can find them on your- and I mean, you can oh, make your own. Yep, everything. You, yeah, you can make your own okay. class. You can make your own retreat. You can just come and stay. Oh. We just had a, a group of knitting gals that just came and stayed for six days. And just you know, took over one of the classrooms and knit and did their thing. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. That and is also so you cool. can design your own. So mm -hmm. we teach several different things, and you mm -hmm. can decide what you want to learn. We'll put that together for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is amazing. Mm -hmm. I wish we had even more time to to show things, and I wish we were out there to look at it all. Look at your cu the cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so um, anyway, um, but we are we're close out of time. But I just mm -hmm. want people to know that you know, Noma is just. I mean, it's about an hour 
little over an hour away? Mm -hmm. It's a little under an hour. Actually. Oh, under Depending an hour. Upon, okay. Upon where well, you, that's good. You know, are in the Fargo Moorhead area. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Well, what is your website so we can check it out? Because it is an amazing website. I mean, it's got your history and everything to it. So gnomeschoolhouse.com. Yep. yep. Simple. Love it. Simple. All right. Well, yes. Teresa. Chris, thank you so very much. Amazing work. I think this is, you are going to put Gnome on the map. I'm quoting a friend of mine because she's from <laughs> out in that neck of the woods and awesome. she's impressed by you too. So anyway, thank you so much for being with us. Thank Thanks you for having us. us. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, don't go anywhere. We are checking in with Comfort Keepers next. <laughs>